Hi guys, welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Before we get started, I ask you to please, please, please subscribe. Thank you. I'm having a kind of a difficult time trying to figure out what all you guys want to see. Uh, apparently there are no Alabama fans out there, or not many. Um, and uh, so I don't know what country to do. Or So I'm going to try this one. And it's not country, but... Um, Kind of out of my element. I enjoyed some of their music, but I never was uh, into them really hard and heavy. Uh, but let's go with it anyway and see what you guys think. Uh, 15 facts about the band Pink Floyd. Look at that. Roger Waters, Nick Mason, and Richard Wright all initially met as architect students at London's Polytech in 1963. Uh, Sid Barrett. Uh, Sid Barrett joined later and left uh, his other musical projects once he reconnected with Roger Waters, his childhood friend, after moving to London for art school. Moreover, Waters and Mason couldn't read actual music, so they used architectural diagrams when physically laying out the arrangements of the songs. Lead singer uh, Sid Barrett uh, named the band by fusing together the names of two East Coast blues men known for their ba uh, bass-driven finger-picking style of play, Pink Anderson and Floyd Council. band was signed to their first record deal with EMI in 1967, a mere month after recording their first single, Arnold Lane. Uh, their first album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn, was recorded at Abbey Road in 1967, directly adjacent to the Beatles, who were recording Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band at the same time. Uh, the band headlined their first ever live concert in London's Hyde Park on June 29th of 1968. Other bands on the bill included T-Rex and Jethro Tull. Uh, they were the first rock band to pioneer live surround sound in the form of the, help me here, Azimuth uh, Coordinator uh, Quadraphonic Sound System. Despite being the longest-running member of the band, Nick Mason's vocals appear on one song in the band's entire catalog, One of These Days, from Metal. Stanley Kubrick asked the band if they'd offer the Adam Hart Mother Suite to serve as the soundtrack for A Clockwork Orange. Nope, they declined. Dark Side of the Moon is the third best-selling album of all time and the longest-running LP on the Billboard 200, charting over 800 weeks straight. Enough copies have been sold that one in 12 people in the entire world own the record. Uh, just for you to know, I do not. <laughs> uh, despite their enormous uh, record-breaking chart success with the Dark Side of the Moon, they've, once, uh, they've only topped the Billboard Top uh, Hot 100 singles charts once with another brick in the wall, part two, hitting number one in 79. Never known to skimp on live production, the band generated a series of venue bans after increasing risk with pyrotechnics and inflicting damages uh, with their huge sets. Uh, the band's 1988 live album, Delicate Sound of Thunder, was the first rock record to ever be played in space. How cool is that? Uh, portions, there we go, sorry about that, portions of the band, band's last two studio records were recorded at Astoria, David Gilmore's custom-built studio inside of a houseboat, very cool too. Uh, in 2010, their legacy was commemorated with a Royal Mail postage stamp series of classic album covers. And the animals featured in much of the band's iconography have names. Flying Pig's name is Algy, and the cow from Adam Hart's mother is named Lulu Bell the Third. Uh, like I say, not a big fan, like some of their music. A uh, very interesting bunch, though. I, I I uh, found a couple, two or three things in there that I thought was really neat, especially the house inside the uh, the boat was kind of cool. Uh, that's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I still need comments uh, to let me know what you want to see because some of the things I'm putting out there aren't getting very many views at all. So, and then I put one out for the monkeys, which I thought wouldn't get very many views, and that just blew the roof off the place. Hmm. 
So let me know what you want to see. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. God bless. Be praying for you.